Hey, hey, y'all. So it's me, Tetra from Tetra's Tarot, your favorite tarot reader. Coming to give you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. <clears throat> Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. Use the code Gemini Season 22 and receive $50 off all purchases over $50. If you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. If you'd like to order from Rose Forever, they are sponsoring me this Gemini season. And uh, there will be a link in a coupon code for $20 off in the description box. And let's get into this. So we're going to do something a little different today instead of the morning sip. I want to know who's coming towards you. What is the energy of the person coming towards Gemini? What is the energy of the person coming towards you, man? What is the energy of the person coming towards you, man? Unrequited love. Wow. What is the energy of the person coming towards you, man? What is the energy of the person coming towards you, man? So this may be something that's been on and off. You've been on and off with this person. Things couldn't necessarily get right. Ugh much things just never maybe came together okay or oh, this person may feel like you're out of reach now for some reason <clears throat> chemistry this is somebody who you have major chemistry with okay the person coming towards Gemini so I feel like this is somebody who you definitely had chemistry with but things just never really came together Things may have been very much um, on and off. Okay, what's this? Playfulness. I feel like this is somebody who you have a good time with. Okay. Bottom of the deck, worth waiting for. This hurt. So this person, I feel like they feel like the wait would have been worth it. Or the wait would be worth it. Or has been worth it. Or can be worth it. Okay. I feel like this is somebody who you have a good time with. You guys are playful with each other. I heard able to be myself. You're able to be yourself with this person or this person feels like they're able to be themselves with you. I'm just getting the cards all up right in the beginning. <clears throat> we'll start off with everything upright. So if they come out reverse, we know what we're supposed to. What is the energy of the person coming towards Gemini? What is the energy of the person coming towards Gemini? What is the energy of the person coming towards Gemini? What is the energy of the person coming towards Gemini? Of the person coming towards Gemini. Where is the energy of the person coming towards Gemini? One more. What is the energy of the person coming towards Gemini? I feel like this is somebody who has made some kind of decision about something, okay? They've made some kind of judgment about something, or this is somebody who's come, who has arrived at some sort of decision. The energy of the person coming towards Gemini. What is the energy of the person, okay? <laughs> so I feel like this person started off holding back, okay? So you may have felt like this was an unre a unrequited situation also, okay? Because this person was holding back Capricorn energy. Six of Cups, I feel like this person wants to rekindle some stuff though with this Six of Cups energy out here, Scorpio energy, okay? Bob of the Deck, Knight of Swords. <laughs> this person wants to come in 
and say something, okay? I feel like this is somebody who is rushing towards you to say something. They have something to say. Bottom of the deck, King of Cups, Scorpio. Yes, I can. <clears throat> King of Cups, Scorpio, Libra, Energy, or just any water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like this person... So this is somebody who I feel like held back from you emotionally. They never really... So you maybe could sense that this person had feelings for you um, intuitively, but I feel like this is somebody who held back in that in that department. Um, but with this King of Cups next to the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Taurus, Energy, or just any air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I feel like this person is rushing towards you to say something. I feel like of an emotional nature. Coming towards Gemini. It's coming towards Gemini. It's coming towards Gemini. I feel like this, this is somebody who, who, like I said, covered up their emotions. Okay, the Moon card, Gemini, uh, not Gemini, Cancer energy. But I feel like this is somebody who covered up and hid their emotions. person even though they want to come towards you and say something i feel like they're kind of afraid of this reaction queen of swords so they want to say something they may have they may even be sniffing around i get the feeling that they that they may be sniffing around they may be popping up places where you normally are um they may be talking to people that you talk to they're just trying to feel things out because i feel like they're afraid of this reaction okay they're afraid of this queen of swords energy libra virgo energy or just any air sign gemini libra aquarius okay i feel like they hid their emotions or they may try to hide their emotions because of this and i keep telling y'all every time i touch these cards this come out for y'all a lot of y'all are in this very cutthroat energy okay energy of the person coming towards gemini okay yeah, I feel like this person wants to have a balanced relationship or equal give and take this time around with this situation. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to speak to you or, or has something to say. Okay, with this page of swords, Aries energy. I'm sorry, page of wands, Aries energy. Just look at this. Bottom of the deck. This person could feel like you're their twin. Wow, look at this. So this may be somebody who lied to you about their relationship status. And that may be why it didn't move forward in the beginning. Okay. You may have found out about a third party that this person actually had a whole relate, a whole other relationship going on. Could have very possibly been married or just in a very committed relationship. Okay. There's three of swords. You know what this means for me. When this pops out, this means that um, there's a third party here. So in this instance, I feel like you may have been the third party in this situation. Okay. Capricorn energy, Libra, Virgo energy. Okay. So that may have been also why this was unrequited. But with this devil card and this chemistry card, that tells me that there was a very strong connection here. In spite of the fact that this person was already involved. I don't know why people feel like because <coughs> somebody's involved with somebody else that they can't connect with other people. It's very possible. Okay. Um, this person may feel like you are their twin flame. There's definitely love here. Okay. Definitely love here. Gemini energy, just any water sign, um, Scorpio, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Let me pull twin flame cards too, since that, to me, that lover's card is twin flame energy. Pull some of those and we're going to get some tea on them too. I'm trying not to make this long, y'all. What's the energy of the person coming towards Gemini? I really feel like this person wants to come back, come back through and express some genuine emotion or express some emotion, okay? But like I said, with that Queen of Swords out there, they're a little timid about it. You might receive a message that's kind of playful, page of wands energy out here. This is somebody, so they might just test the waters and send you something and just to test your reaction before they go full fledged. Okay. 
Yeah. So this person feels like you don't want to hear anything that they have to say. Don't want to hear it here, hater. This person could be being a hater. Um, you may be involved with somebody else. And so they may be hating on that fact. What else? Fake apology. <clears throat> I feel like with that fake apology. Wow. I, okay, y'all. Bottom of the deck. Mm. Okay. So they feel like. So this is somebody who wants to come back towards you because they've gotten out of this other previous situation. Could be a marriage, could be a, just a committed relationship, but they feel like at this point, you don't want to hear it, okay? That you're not going to want to hear it. And, and I feel like they fear that you think, or you're going to think that, that whatever they have to say, if they come to you with flowers or whatever, that you're not going to think it's genuine, okay? So this was definitely somebody who was already in something, quite possibly a marriage. Doesn't have to be, it could just be a committed relationship, but whatever it was, I feel like it's done. It's over and that's why this person is coming back towards you, okay? But once again, that queen of swords and this don't wanna hear it, that's the energy that they're afraid of coming from you. the person coming towards you and I uh oh what's the energy of the person coming towards you and I what's the energy of the person coming towards you and I what's the energy of the person coming towards you and I I know you're right, but I need to come to my own conclusions. So you may have been telling this person something while you guys were talking, because I feel like there's probably not any contact right now. So you may have been advising this person of something or telling this person something, and they didn't want to hear it at the time, okay? But I feel like whatever it was, they found out <laughs> on their damn own. What is the energy of the person coming towards Gemini, okay? It's easier to just stay away right now, okay? So this person, like I say, I feel like there there wasn't any contact with this person between you and them, okay? And they may have did it for good reason, just to be able to resolve what they needed to resolve before they came back towards you. The energy. Okay. Your words linger in my mind. This person often thinks about the things that you've said to them, okay? You guys may have like little inside jokes or whatever, or even just conversations that this person still replays. Okay. Get a couple more. Okay. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. Okay, so this person, that's that queen of swords. So this person may fear that they can't meet your standards, okay? Look at this. Bottom of the deck, would you reject me? I'm telling you, I feel like this person's going to like soft, um, like they're going to test the water. Okay. So they may see you somewhere and they may speak to you and, and, and try to gauge how you react to them. Or they may send you, like I said, a little playful something, something that don't really make no sense. And you could tell that this person just want to talk to you and that's why they sent it. They might do something like that to test and see if you're going to respond to them or whatever. Okay. I've thought, of, I've thought a lot about you lately. Okay. We're going to get one more. Energy, the person coming to, okay. I just have to do something else right now. Please try and understand. So I feel like that, I really feel like that was past energy. Um, that may have been what they told you before this most recent break or this most recent where you guys weren't in contact with each other. I feel like whatever they had to take care of had to do with this other situation over here, this other family, this other commitment, this other marriage, whatever it was, I feel like that's what that's pointing to, okay? 
And with that being handled now, I feel like this person is coming, is going to try and come towards you. I feel like they're going to test the waters, okay, to see how you would react to them before they go all in. So Gemini, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. For all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. If you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.